What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian Nima. Today we are doing a figure review of Aang from the Avatar The Last Airbender. If you're ready, let's go. So here is Aang outside the box. Um, before we look at the details and everything, just a quick background. If you don't know who Aang is and who is this character is based on, this is character is based on a cartoon from Nickelodeon, Avatar The Last Airbender. And why am I doing this review? Because Avatar The Last Airbender live action just premiered last Thursday on Netflix. And I've been waiting and waiting for this, uh, for that to premiere to do this review. And now we're here finally. So, and that brings to the question of the day, actually. Have you seen the new series, the series, the live action? And what do you think about it? For me, I give it a solid eight i think eight out of ten is a really good number maybe 7.5 but it's not nine or or straight up ten but there are some things and i thought it was really good the cgi the action scenes was amazing so yeah that's the reason why i give it an eight um but comment down below what you think about it um and then the other thing about this this figure did come out in 2022 and and i'm sorry ahead of time if i butcher your name this is designed by Uriel Katten and sculpted by George Santos Suwaza. So yeah, let's go check out Ang closer, uh, uh, closer and check out the details. We'll talk about the price and then give it a final score. Let's go. So looking at the, uh, the wind effect right here, man, the sculpt work looks really good. Just look at that. Yeah, dang, the design looks really, really amazing. Wow. That is so, so good. Oh, I forgot to mention, there is actually another version of this figure. Um, I'll, I'll show you the picture right now. So here's the other version I was referring to. It's like a bronze limited edition. Uh, looks cool though, but wasn't, not me, not my thing. And we're back. So yeah, that's the other version. I wasn't thinking about getting that one. It is an exclusive version, but I just like the original and colors. So yeah, that's why I got this one. Um, but yeah, back to the sculpt and everything looks really great. The paint application on Ang's clothes looks great. The lines, the arrows looks amazing. His facial expression looks great. Yep, it's all good, man. Look at this. Even to the back. The back of Ang looks great. The line work and everything is pristine. And oh yeah, by the way, this, if you take this off, it does not hold the thing in place. So if you want to keep it like this, the way I have it displayed, do not remove that band because you, you, it's hard to put it back. I trust me, I learned my lesson. I took it off and I had to, it was, it took time. But yeah, I got it back, so we're good. Um, but yeah, paint and sculpt looks really, really good. Now let's talk about the price. So talking about the price, this figure runs about $49, $50. Um, I actually got this on a good deal on from Entertainment Earth. So thank you, Entertainment Earth. I highly recommend you check the open box. So if you don't care about the box and you're going to open the figure, that's the way to go. Check it out. Entertainment Earth open box. Really, really great uh, to save costs. Uh, but I bought this figure for like about, I think if I remember correctly, it was 20, 27. So that's a really good deal from 50 bucks to 27. That's really good. But yeah, overall, I think this figure for its price and the sculpt work that it went through to make this beautiful piece, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the $50. It looks really, really great. So yeah, price, pretty good. Now let's do the other score. So let's talk about the score here. First, we talk about the paint and sculpt. I think the paint and sculpt looks really, really great. And I think, um, yeah, I, I saw it. Honestly, I give it a solid five for the paint and sculpt. The sculpt work for the wind effect and everything. Overall, this piece all together looks really, really great. And then for the price for $50 for this figure, I think honestly, it's a good price. Honestly, I could see this figure going for $70 or $80 because of the paint sculpt that went to it and the size of the figure. Oh, that reminds me, the size of the figure. <laughs> I forgot to measure that. Um, if you are going to be displaying this guy, this guy from the very top, he stands about 10 inches. So that means the, staff, the top to the staff right here is about 10 inches. And with the effect and everything, he is about about eight and a half inches wide. So yeah, it takes up a lot of space. Um, but I think overall, I give this figure a straight 10 out of 10. Congratulations, and um, from the Avatar Last Airbender. 
Diamond Select, um, yeah, George and Uro, great job, 10 out of 10, amazing work. So hope this review helped you decide if you want to purchase figure. It's a great adaptation of Aang, so I highly recommend you do. And remember, think about think about looking at that Entertainment Earth section that I was referring to. And also, um, yeah, please, if you did like this video, please leave me a like, subscribe, and share this video. For now, everybody, thank you so much, and goodbye.